there are several functions in the software to help you with your end of day processing. If you select end of day processing from the manager menu, the first option that you have is to close a cash drawer. Closing a cash drawer will let you reconcile all of the sales and the dollar amounts that should be uh, should have been assigned to one cash drawer throughout the day or since the last time that you closed the cash drawer. Each time that you close the cash drawer and store that reconciliation, all of the items for that cash drawer are marked as processed. So each time you close the cash drawer, you'll see all of the items that have been created or, or all of the transactions that have been run since the last time you closed the cash drawer. You'll first be prompted for the cash drawer ID. Again, each terminal on your system should be assigned its own cash drawer ID. When you enter the cash drawer ID, uh, you'll see the total sales that have been applied to that specific cash drawer. The first step then would be to enter a beginning cash amount. This would represent the amount of cash that is typically in the drawer at the beginning of the shift. Then you would enter all of the money that was stored in that cash drawer uh, as you count it. When you're finished, you'll see the amount that you're over or under on the cash drawer, uh, and you can save the cash drawer reconciliation by selecting F3. This time it'll ask if you want to print the report. You can select Yes and View or Print the Report will show you all of the information that you've just entered so that it can be filed away. And once you're done looking at the report, you can close the cash drawer, which will save the record and mark everything as processed. So that if you were to go in and try to close the cash drawer again, you would see that the sales amount has been reset. The next option is posting table sales. Business plus accounting uses a uh, a batch posting method for restaurant transactions to push that information into the accounting system. At the time that you post table sales at the end of the day, uh, several things happen. First, invoices are created in the business system for all of the tickets that you've done during the day. All of the accounting information for those tickets is posted at that time. If any of those tickets were placed as on-account tickets, uh, accounts receivable entries are also created at that time so that monies can be received through the accounts receivable module. Additionally, at the point in time that you post table sales, inventory processing occurs. If you have defined recipes for your products, those recipes are processed and the raw materials are removed from inventory. If you have not, then the items themselves, uh, the core items, will be removed from inventory. Uh, if you want to view what you're about to post, you do have an option in the restaurant reports module to print a pre-post sales report. This report would show you all of the transactions that you're getting ready to post. When you're ready to post, uh, you can also do a view pre-post cash out data to view the items that are about to be posted if you just want to look at those items on the screen. Uh, additionally, the pre-post sales report is available here. When you're ready to post your table sales, simply select Post Table Sales. Uh, it will remind you that you should do this each day and ask whether or not you want to have the report. The reports can be filed away for later use, although you can reprint a report showing all the items that were posted for a specific day. Uh, this report would then show you uh, everything that you've just posted as well as total sales, total bank account, monies that have been received, taxes, uh, etc. In addition to closing the cash drawer and posting your table sales, the software also supports Z1, Z2, and Z3 reporting. The Z1 reporting, similar to the cash drawer, will report everything that has not yet been reported and closed on a Z1 report. The software will ask you if you're ready to reset your Z-Report at this point in time or if you're just doing a query. If you're just doing a query to see uh, daily totals or anything of that nature, you'll want to say no, that you don't want to reset. The Z-Report shows you transactions that have been run, cash, credit card, check amounts that have been received, uh, tips, and gives you a basic overview of uh, how much business you're doing or have done during this Z1 reporting period. Once you select a Z1 report and reset the Z-Report totals, those totals are then pushed into the Z2 report so that when you view the Z2 report uh, you'll see summary information for each Z1 report that was closed. Uh, typically a Z1 report is run on a daily basis, a Z2 report is run on a weekly basis, and a Z3 report is run on a monthly basis. Each of those reports will reset 
uh, at the after you run the report we'll have an option to reset so that you can start with a clean total for the next report.